evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Ashley McDowell. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. Teachers speak out against the pay cut to salary increases. Also tonight, one individual gets to walk again after three years. And some programs are being available that will save you lots of energy in your household. In sports, 10 Holdings FC takes on the sidekicks, Calda Friendly. Stay with us, see stories and more are next. Get Dad the perfect gift now. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus for as low as $38.50 per month when you join the NOW program. Come in before Father's Day and receive a free JBL speaker and Galaxy earbuds. That's over $150 worth of free gifts on us. Happy Father's Day from Docomo Pacific. Better together. Some conditions apply. Welcome to the Marianas Eye Institute. Our office on Beach Road is staffed with U.S. certified eye care technicians, doctors that have received national recognition, and a friendly, professional staff that will look after you and your loved ones. With over 1,200 eyeglass frames to choose from and an in-house lab, we can make most glasses in about an hour. And we even feature a mobile clinic to bring eye care to you. Keep your eyes healthy and strong with professional eye care at the Marianas Eye Institute. Off a day, Tiruwami and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Friday, June 7, 2019. In court, a bench warrant is being issued for a former Tinian senatorial candidate for failing to appear to a motion to suppress hearing today in the courtroom of Superior Court Judge Joseph Camacho. Former Commonwealth Utilities Corporation board member Eric San Nicholas was arrested for allegedly driving under the influence of alcohol last summer. According to court documents, San Nicholas was arrested July 28, 2018 after the Department of Public Safety were called by a female who claimed her car keys and cell phone were stolen by her boyfriend, Eric St. Nicholas. When a DPS officer found the vehicle with the description given by St. Nicholas's girlfriend, the officer pulled the vehicle over and after observations placed St. Nicholas under arrest for allegedly driving under the influence. The next court appearance for St. Nicholas will be for a motion to suppress and to set a trial date. Saipan teachers gathered at the Marianas High School cafeteria yesterday to comment and hear information about the financial emergency the public school system is under. The Board of Education has voted to cut salary increases of public school system employees by 50 percent, and teachers are concerned. About 150 people, uh, teachers mostly gathered because we were we received news today. We were asked to sign a memorandum and an addendum um, about the coming pay cuts with PSS and the emotion in this room was really supercharged. A lot of people were um, were emotional, some were angry, many were scared and fearful about what the future would hold because um, of the financial hardships that this would bring and also frustrations of questions that were raised over budgets and, um, and, and where the money is and why, why we didn't receive this information sooner. Is, uh, would you guys support a, a walkout by teachers, a demonstration on, on Capitol Hill or something of this, of this sort as the minority legislators? I would join you. <laughs> Originally, PSS was given around $42.8 million, but communication with the Ways and Means in the previous months reduced that amount by around 7.5. In terms of your immediate concerns, the cuts that are being proposed in your, uh, for your own salaries, um, it's, it's really ultimately, it really comes down to the administration transferring the money to PSS. 
We don't know how bad it's gonna get, guys, and we don't know where to find the money. When we fought for the least painful option, we fought for that because we wanted to make sure nobody went payless. But it could get worse, and there is no other money to find. There's no money to leverage. A memorandum was given to every teacher, letting them know their contracts will be modified. Each teacher has 30 days to sign the PSS contract addendum and return by June 21, 2019, or they will be terminated. The memorandum states, quote, if you do not sign the addendum and do not notify the Human Resources Office of your refusal to sign, you will be released from employment no later than 90 days from the date of this letter on September 4, 2019. You will receive payback for those 90 days for whatever amount was reduced, end quote. House Speaker B.J. Atal has called for a first day third special session for Tuesday, June 11, 2019 at 1 p.m. in the House Chamber. How many of you have actually agreed to sign on to that addendum? But what if nobody signed it? So they fired everybody. So everybody who will get terminated? Reporting for KSPN, I'm Ashley McDowell. And now we head over to the Commonwealth Healthcare Center, where an individual is getting back on his feet. All right, one, two, three. It's a monumental moment, as this is Vincent Togabwell's first time standing. Okay, step with your right foot. There you go, good. Now left foot. Good. And first time walking in three years. Vincent is 60 years old and got his legs amputated a few years ago due to gangrene resulting from diabetes. There's no blood flow to my feet. Vincent has many things he is looking forward to doing yet again. Driving, first thing. <laughs> Maybe walk around the yard outside my house do some chores, maybe light chores. And his emotions are strong. Very happy <laughs> and excited. <laughs> Hopefully my left leg will get rid of all the pain there so I can walk comfortably. This is all thanks to Mark Kaufman from the Hanger Clinic in Atlanta, Georgia. Kaufman is a certified prosthetist orthotist who is trained to prescribe, design, fit, and monitor custom-made artificial limbs and provide patient care. So I see the patient, evaluate, cast, I make everything back in Atlanta, and then I bring everything back with me in three months. So it's a, it's a very tricky process to make sure it's done exactly right. I can make some adjustments here. I have almost a makeshift type of laboratory, uh, but it gets the job done. Kaufman says every individual patient is unique as learning to walk again with a prosthetic leg or legs can take time. I think we've fit about nine amputees so far this trip and for example the right before this visit there was a gentleman that was fit and he got up walked with no canes or anything um, and so it just depends on each each particular patient is different. Sometimes they just get up and go. Sometimes it takes a couple weeks. Sometimes it takes a couple months to get ready. Kaufman has been working in this field of healthcare for about 30 years, and this is his fourth trip to Saipan. He says he plans on coming back every three months. Through CHCC, the hospital here, which has been an amazing help to these patients, and also public health has been an amazing help. Um, just bringing the patients that need those services to me has been, you know, unprecedented. I think that, you know, in order to, to help these patients, they have to first be notified that I'm coming, then they have to be to know when I'm coming, right, and then being able to come and take care of them, and then to follow up and make sure they, they follow up with everything they need to. So there's a lot of patients that need the help. And there's a lot more that I haven't seen. And I don't think we'll ever be able to get to see all of them. But, you know, the ones that we can help, we'll definitely do our best. And the process of getting a prosthetic leg. This is what's called the liner. So this is a silicone, very soft liner 
um, very, very squishy and gushy, uh, and, but it's, it basically rolls onto the stump so it it's holds on very snug. And there's a pin that sticks in the bottom. And once the stump is in the, in the socket or in the liner, then it goes into the socket itself, which is custom made. So this is a very custom, customized part that is fit, fits onto his limb. You'll see this little dial here. And when, the, when he puts the liner on and he pushes down in, you see that start to turn. Okay. Once that's in, the prosthesis or the, will stay on his leg. It won't come out until. So you can, he can basically hang like this, right? Where he's wearing his legs, imagine his stump in here. And when he's ready to take off the prosthesis, he just pushes this button and it comes out. It's just a matter of time, practice, and patience before Vincent is up on his feet once again. Hopefully I can get a car so I can drive soon. <laughs> I can step on the gas and the brake now. Reporting for KSPN2, I'm Ashley McDowell. The CNMI Energy Division under the Department of Public Works is launching a CNMI State Emer Energy Program, Energy Star Appliance Rebate Program. The CNMI State Energy Program, Energy Star Alliance Rebate Program is for the replacement of old inefficient appliances that were damaged from Typhoon Mancut and Super Typhoon U2 with qualified energy efficient Energy Star rated products. So we're kicking off the program on Monday and what the, the c consumer needs to do is to come up to the office and get an application and uh, you know fill it out and then from there they pick on what appliances they need to replace. So we have refrigerators, washers, and window and split type air cons. This is on a first come first serve basis where interested applicants will go to the Division of Energy office located on Capitol Hill and get an application on Monday, June 10th, starting at 7.30 a.m. If an individual or family is approved, the appliances that can no longer be used will be replaced with a brand new one. People come up here, get an application, fill in that application, get a voucher once approved, and then they bring that voucher to the participating vendors where they get a replacement uh, appliance. The appliances are not free, but do come at a discounted price at one of the registered retailers and vendors. Each household is allowed to get one refrigerator, one closed washer, and up to two air conditioning units, room air conditioners, of course. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it's really their choice uh, what they could afford to replace within their uh, household. Uh, again, it's a rebate uh, program, so it, it only helps the homeowners to free the cost off appliances. And so the remaining cost of that appliance list, that voucher, obviously homeowners have to bear that cost. Redemption of rebate vouchers are good for 30 days only from the date of issue. Whoever that recipient is would have 30 days to redeem it, obviously, at participating vendors. If they don't, they lose the, the voucher. So that becomes available to the next person that might need one. Applications from the Division of Energy Office in Tinian will be available June 22nd at 9 a.m. at the Office of the Mayor. And applications for Rota residents for the Division of Energy will be available on Saturday, June 29th at 9 a.m. at the Office of the Mayor. You know, we, we urge everyone that are interested uh, in, in uh, reducing their energy cost and energy bill to you know, take advantage of this program. Um, you know, but again, at the end of the day, it's the goal is to, uh, you know, promote energy conservation within the state of mind. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Ashley McDowell. Coming up, we take it back to the battlegrounds from 75 years ago. Check this out after the break.
Get the phone plan you're looking for at it &E. Stay connected with the strongest, widest, and most reliable network in the Marianas. Stream, share, play, shop, and surf the web with super fast 4G LTE data. Whether you need just a few gigabytes of data to get by, or if you want to go further with unlimited data, there's a plan for you. You'll always get the best price. Visit any it &E store or call us to learn more. it &E. Explore your world. You know the rules. Eggs and sausage, hotcakes and butter. Morning fare, right? Well, McDonald's has thrown away those rules and opened a new world of possibilities. Now you're free to start enjoying the breakfast you love anytime you wish. No way. Yes way. Introducing McDonald's new all-day breakfast menu. Once you changed how you ate breakfast, it's time to start changing when. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News and thank you for joining us. It has been 75 years since World War II and one of the most historic battles happened right here on our very shores. The Commonwealth will be hosting several events throughout the next week in remembrance of the Battle of Saipan and Tinian. June 15, 1944. That's when the first battle took place as the United States entered the shores of Saipan and attacked the Japanese forces. Just over a month later, the U.S. proceeded to the island of Tinian, taking the island by force. These two battles were a turning point in the War of the Pacific. As the distance between the Marianas and Japan made it a key strategic location for the U.S. B-29 bombers to strike Japan, which later caused Japan to surrender to the United States. Seventy-five years later, the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands commemorates the anniversary of the two battles as Governor Ralph Torres signs the proclamation. Chairman for the Commemorative Committee, Peter Paul Camacho, tells us what the proclamation means. We remember 75 years ago, after the war, a lot of people had to start over with their life. Uh, the Marianas had to start over again, you know, and rebuild as a community. And uh, it's very significant too, especially with the number of Marines and soldiers that came out here during the war. Camacho says they will be having different activities beginning on June 15th and ending on the 17th on Tinian. We're going to have a lot of film screenings, um, a lot of uh, first-hand accounts of survivors. They, they recorded talking about their experiences during the war. We're going to have a walk of honor as well along the landing beaches at Kilili Beach all the way to Quartermaster Tank. And we're going to have a, uh, a mini Sky Lantern Festival lighting up sky lanterns in the air, 75 of them to celebrate our 75 years of resiliency. And then the final wreath laying ceremony in Saipan on the 15th and then on the 17th as well in Tinian. Starting Sunday, VFW will be hosting veterans throughout Asia and the mainland and will be giving tours to all the historical sites on the island. Today we have the 53rd annual Department of Pacific Areas VFW convention here which we're hosting VFW Post 3457, and we have bringing veterans who are coming in from all over Asia. And they'll be here for the convention and overlap with the 75th Battle of Saipan. So they've got the venues for both, so when they're not in a meeting or before or after the convention, then they can go participate and do what they want with the liberation. A lot of them want to take historical tours, go to all the battle sites and Mayor of Saipan, David Apatang, says it is important to remember the sacrifices that were made that shaped the Marianas today. We want to make sure that we remember those uh, soldiers, sailors, and Marines, and uh, you know, even our people who suffered through the, the war in World War II. Uh, you know, uh, I know the president is in uh, Europe, I think, uh, memorizing through the, the 75th anniversary. So we cannot forget those people who have given their life for our freedom. Until this day, some of those who gave their lives for our freedom can still be found deep beneath our islands. We're still finding bodies and remains. And on July 6th, Quintai will be down here and they do a ceremony every year out at Aqua Resort and they bring Shinto priests and stuff, which one of the Shinto priests is also one of the leaders of Quintai, 
and we're still working on permission because there's mass graves out in that area that we want to exhume and then American remains, if it's obvious, go to Honolulu, other ones go to Japan. All right, thank you, Ashley. Coming up, SciFan, we have liftoff, KSPN2 Sports Blast Off. Dad, the perfect gift now. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus for as low as $38.50 per month when you join the Now program. Come in before Father's Day and receive a free JBL speaker and Galaxy earbuds. That's over $150 worth of free gifts on us. Happy Father's Day from Docomo Pacific. Better together. Some conditions apply. You deserve more. Hey, I know it's been hard. Come on, let's go for a ride. Hi, welcome to Dow Rent to Own. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now this feels like home. Dial Wrench Own. Making lives better since 1987. Buenos Sports fans. Brandon Sports fans, international soccer returns to the Koblerville Training Center for the first time since the Typhoon. Thanks to a friendly, the sidekicks from Guam in blue are here for an exhibition series against the uh, NMI U-12 teams. The tournament kicked off, oh, we love saying soccer kicked off, this afternoon at 4 o'clock, starting with the Tan Holdings FC representing Saipan in green there. The Goodwill exhibition will continue Saturday morning at 9 a.m. It'll be Shirley's versus those sidekicks. And we'll conclude Saturday afternoon at the 4 o'clock game. Kanoa FC challenging the visitors and the public is invited to come out and cheer for either team, whoever you want. Well, last night, you know, we showed you a team that scored 32 runs in the Homeland Security Softball Tournament. Well, that's a bunch. It's pretty, pretty tough to score exactly 32 runs two games in a row, unless you're the Bang Bros. Look up, yeah, the score was really high. Thursday night on Capitol Hill, most fans sitting outside the fence, family fun night. Oh, make sure to wear shades because you know, you never know when that sun might pop out, right? Dex and Team Reese bringing their whooping sticks to this game. Hey Wong. Oh, number 999 with the two run. Ding dong, ding dong. Brittany with the soft single. And the outfielders, you know, have to play with a hand on the fence whenever the girls are batting. June follows with a shot that just clears the left field chain link fence. By the way, they that team bought nine home runs. Minks had to leak off of John Rages' glove. Brian Camacho gives chase. KK says, okay, now we're down to our last homer, but well, at least that was worth a couple more runs. We got a blaster of a game here. Team Reese scored 22 times. Would it be enough? Well, maybe on some nights against some teams, but 
Well, don't ever drop the ball against the Bang Bros if you want to stay out of the loser's bracket. Vince Cepeda, he cracks the big fly to the blue cooler and right. The Bang Brothers storming back like you two. Austin Roberto and the Bang Bros outbank Team Reese have mercy because they scored 32 runs again and they won by the 10 run rule. 32, 22, Bang Bros. Time to unveil, unwrap, uncover, and expose the top plays of this week. Uh, I think you're going to like this. The top play is a real knockout. Coming at number four, goalie Chevy Olipio coming off an injury. Her first game in more than a year. Oh, the diving save. Welcome back, Chevy. Coming in at number three, Suhan Huevos with this rumbling, fumbling, stumbling, bumbling, goal! Top play number three. She scored three, you know. Coming in at number two, Logan Mister, the hammer. He powers the MHS Dolphins in the Boys High School Volleyball Championship. And the Triple J, top player. Frank the Crank Camacho TKO's Sergeant Nick Hine from Germany at USC Stockholm. The Triple J Kapow! Here's the wind up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! So what are you going to do this year? At Gold's, a dedicated fitness studio with a cushioned floor is perfect for group exercise. The cardio room features a variety of treadmills, bikes, steppers, and ellipticals. Fitness machines will help you achieve your goals, and the largest free weight area on Saipan gives you comfortable space to work out. Gold's gym team is ready to help you get to your goals. Try harder. We know you can do it. Today's high at 89. The heat index 102, low 80. Humidity 70%. Tomorrow more of the same. Eastern winds 10 to 29. 89. Seas moderate out there, 4 to 6 feet. Sunrise 546 and sunset at 646. Bob, for that weather. Well, you're most welcome. I, I didn't do anything about the weather. I'm just reporting. Thanks for reporting to us. No control over that. But you know what? You, you got control what time over the weekend. Yes, you yeah, do. Because it starts right now. Starts right now. And thanks for watching. Please do tune in again Monday morning at 6. Monday evening, excuse me, at 6. She's right. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>